Do you want to learn how to draw fantastic, dynamic caricatures in four minutes or less? Especially drawing people face to face? I'm a professional caricature artist in Florida and last year I did 99 events and I drew probably over 4,000 people last year. I have my own unique method for drawing people that I've developed over the last 10 years and it's helped me to get better and better every time I draw at a caricature gig. And in this video, I'm going to slow things down and draw from a photo and explain to you a little bit of my method as I go. Okay, for this next one, we're gonna do a caricature of Ron Burgundy. He's a news anchor for Channel 4 News. So, first thing I'm thinking of is this head, or his face shape is taller than it is wide. So let's make it a lot taller. And if I'm going to stretch it taller, it automatically becomes thinner or narrower, put it that way. His eyes in this area. And now we're going to do the hair shape. And he looks like he's wearing a, like a 70s wig or something. Okay, there's my sketch. Now, something else I've always noticed about this one is his eyes are very small and his eyebrow is touching his eyebrow. It's, I mean eyeball. <laughs> his eyebrow is touching his eyeball. The two are very jammed together. And so let's try to represent that. drawing his eye tiny drawing it so small that it's hard to draw and then it's getting swallowed up by that eyebrow That's kind of messy, but that's the sketch. And um, there's like the muscles under his eye. So his eye is definitely swallowed by the eyebrow and the muscles around it. Let's get the one on the other side. Again, John, it's super small. Once again, if he lets his eyebrows get too bushy, he won't be able to see at all. Like right here, he's lifting this, trying to lift this eyebrow up a little bit and it's still touching his eyeball, so that's definitely something I would want to exaggerate. This photo is kind of fuzzy, but you can kind of see some of the muscles on this side of his eye socket and um, I don't know how to describe them. They're a little different. Like maybe they're squeezing in on the eye also. So, uh, and then he's, 
I've stretched out his head so his nose is automatically going to have to stretch some. He has a turned down nose, and that means like, when I say turned down nose, I can't see his nostrils. So the tip of his nose is turned down to the point where you can't see in the nostrils at all. Not that you would want to see in the nostrils, but that's how you determine if the nose is turned down, turned up, or a straightforward nose. And now, he has an epic mustache. Let me see if I can get that. And it's like, I'm not sure if this is a fake mustache, so I've got to, uh, I'm going to draw it as all as one shape. tilted a little further up on this side because he kind of has a crooked smile in this facial expression. And that crooked smile is also causing his, uh, his mouth to be a, and chin a little be a little crooked. Alright. Alright, now I'm gonna switch to my big marker. I'm just drawing the shapes that I kind of see already in his face. This line of the it kind of stops here and turns down, but but I did it differently in the sketch, so uh, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna stick with my sketch. In other words, if I drew it like the photo, I would bring it out to here and then curve it down toward the chin. But I think I'm just gonna stick with my sketch. side you can see a bit of his awesome 70s sideburn I'm just trying to use thicker lines on the hair and I'm just trying to follow kind of what I see. Not exactly though. I'm gonna raise this camera up so you can see me draw his collar and tie.
And here's the hair. <clears throat> the hair, which is, may be a wig. He may be wearing a wig and a fake mustache right here. And if it's not a wig, it is probably held in place by three cans of hairspray. So there's Ron Burgundy. Stay classy.